Greetings, Millbrook families. This is news from around the district in the Millbrook Minute. First up, we have Mr. Sight from the high school. Thank you, Superintendent Hernandez. For the short week this week, this is a friendly reminder that we have a full day of classes on Monday next week and midterm exams Tuesday through Friday. Students are only required to come to school Tuesday through Friday for scheduled midterms exams. There will be buses at 2.30 and late bus runs at 3.25 available for students taking the exams. Have a great weekend. Here's Mr. Cabello at the middle school. Hey, everybody out there. Uh, this week, I was really taken aback as the weather gets colder and messier out there. It's great to see our students inside and outside the classroom. Uh, so many of our all-county musicians doing some great things. Our girls modified basketball team wearing their jerseys in the hallways. Our track team running the hallways, not out in the cold outdoors. And our boys basketball team in their shirts and ties uh, ready for their big games this week. Uh, I really encourage you to come out and see our athletes, musicians, and students inside and outside the classroom as we continue to work hard uh, during these tough weather times. With news from Alden Place, here's Mr. Lipka. Thank you, Mr. Cabello. Three Alden Place fifth grade band students were successful at the All-County Auditions last Saturday. Congratulations to Natalie Elhapawi uh, playing clarinet, Theo Chi playing flute, and Nicholas Renzo also on flute for being chosen all county. Although our science fair is almost a month away, Meet the Scientist Day has been planned for next Monday. This is a day where scientists from Cary Institute meet with each of our science fair participants to offer supporting comments on those chosen projects. And also the Millbrook Rotary connects with Alden Place every year to present third graders with dictionaries to use in the classroom. We thank our Rotary for this effort as I'll stop by next Wednesday to make that presentation. Have a nice weekend. Next, on to Mrs. O'Connell at Elm Drive. Thank you, Mr. Lipka. It's been a short but great week. The teachers received some fantastic professional development with literacy consultant Lizzie Hetzer. Next Thursday, we're excited to welcome children's author, as well as one of Millbrook's own, Ms. Stella Ferrari. Ms. Ferrari will be presenting to each of our kindergarten classes. Thank you and have a wonderful weekend. Now on to Ms. Chanowski with Pupil Personnel Services. Thank you, Mrs. O'Connell. It's hard to believe, but here in the PPS office, we are already starting our planning for annual review meetings um, to start planning out what your child's education will look like next school year. Um, we will be starting up with our middle school students in February. So in the coming weeks, please be looking for that meeting invitation for your child's annual review meeting that again will be taking place in February. Um, our high school um, and two elementary buildings of Alden Place and Elm Drive will be happening in subsequent months. So just if you have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to reach out to the PPS office with your questions. I hope everyone has a great weekend. And now on to Ms. Holzberg with Student Services. Thank you, Mr. Chanowski. It has been a great week popping into classrooms and getting to observe the great work teachers are doing with our children. On behalf of the school counseling department, students and families, please take a look at our school counseling websites for updates on college planning resources, news and announcements regarding upcoming opportunities for our students and more. I hope you all have a great weekend and now on to Dr. Watkins and curriculum and instruction. Thank you, Ms. Holzborg. So this week, I also had the pleasure of sitting in with um, Ms. Hetzer as she worked with both kindergarten and second grade. I loved the conversations and the reflections that teachers were having, and I look forward to seeing some of the, the projects that the teachers worked on today put into place and how our students do with that. In addition, I just wanted to remind all of our families to um, take a moment to look at the newsletter produced each week. There's really impactful stories that are put together by our own uh, media specialist, in addition to all the highlights that are linked within that document. With that, we're off to Mr. Garcia in business and personnel. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone. Thank you, Dr. Watkins. Pretty busy for, uh, time for us in this short week in the business office. The state has uh, issued the first draft of the governor's proposed budget, which means we got our first look at our potential aid for next year. So uh, as Ms. Janowski said, we're already knee deep in our annual work. And, and on our side, we're planning the budget for next year. Uh, so more information will be released on that as we move through the process at upcoming board meetings. And we'll be sharing some of the highlights here with the Millbrook Minute in the future. 
Uh, with all the crazy weather we've had, we just want to thank our custodial and maintenance workers once again for keeping us safe and dry and allowing us to get to campus every day that we're able to. So thank you guys for all the hard work you're putting in outside in the cold to make sure that our staff and students can get in every single day. Uh, speaking of staffing, we're still looking for some really critical teaching positions. Specifically, uh, we're looking for a Spanish teacher, uh, ENL instructors, as well as uh, a, uh, I believe, a secondary vocal teacher. That was what it was. So, if you or anybody that you know is interested in applying to be part of the Millbrook team, please check on our website, millbrookcsd.org. That big box on the right hand side that says apply will bring you right to our webpage that has all of our employment opportunity information. With that, we go back to Ms. Hernandez. Thank you, Mr. Garcia. I want to give a special thank you to two community partners. One is the Millbrook Education Foundation, who facilitated a grant through Berkshire Taconic for $32,500 for targeted professional development in the area of literacy. So thank you so much for that. And also to On Semi, who donated $1,000, 500 for uh, music and 500 for athletics. So thank you to those community partners and to those community members who facilitated that. Um, it is much appreciated and will go to good use for our students. Have a great weekend and we will see you here next week.